Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Techie Code Buddy. I hope you are doing extremely well and your interview preparation is also going well. Well guys, I was getting a lots of messages regarding interview preparation videos, right? Because on Instagram, I put a story that what type of videos now you need. So many of you were polled on interview related videos. So basically we have a complete playlist and day by day I'm adding more and more video in that interview preparation. So doesn't matter whether you are preparing for Exchange interview or Capgemini interview or Cognizant interview or TCS anything, right? So this interview preparation playlist is a common playlist for all types of MNCs interview because in this uh, playlist we have already covered the interviews related to different different companies. This is the Exchange interview experience. Now again the Exchange interview experience then top 40 HR interview questions and answer, right? So these HR interview questions and answers are helpful for Accenture, Capgemini, Cognizant, PCs, etc., LTI, etc., right? Then I have shared a video top 30 plus DBMS interview question. Along with the cheat sheet, I have provided you these videos. So if you are preparing from these videos, so it will be very helpful for you and all the cheat sheets are free. Right, and here I have shared a Capgemini interview experience. In this particular video, I have shared two interview experiences and some tips and tricks to crack Capgemini interview. Then I have shared a Capgemini latest interview experience. And in this video, I'm going to share DSC top interview asked questions, right? Top 30 asked questions from DSA, data structures and algorithm. And also I will be sharing you a cheat sheet for DSC quick revision so that you can prepare from that cheat sheet from that revision guide and you can easily answer in your interview because many of you are having doubt that in HR interview they will ask the technical question or not. So in some companies what happens is technical interview and HR interviews are different different but in some companies this is a mixture right so they can ask you technical questions as well and guys uh, it is so obvious that if you are going to interview for an IT company they must be asked you technical interview questions, right? Now, it is based on your luck that how lucky you are, whether they are asking you or not, but you have to be prepared for the worst case. That's why I always say that be prepared with the technical interview questions. Right? So one by one, I'm sharing of each subject. I have shared BBMS questions. Now, in this video, we will be looking for DSA cheat sheet interview, right? So have a look on this cheat sheet. So I have prepared 30 questions, around 30 questions that I have found that these questions are really very, very uh, frequently asked, right? So these are the frequently asked questions. Just a minute, let me uh, zoom on a bit. Okay. So if we see here, so this is the very first question, what is data structure? So I have clearly explained, first of all, definition. Then what is the need of data structure? Then an example. And all the examples I have used are real world examples. So if you will get these type of examples, interviewer will be impressed from you, right? So always try to relate the things with your real life scenario doesn't matter you are giving oops uh, oops uh, like object oriented programming answer or dsa so if you can relate with real life uh, real time you should re uh, sh you should relate them so that they can uh, have the knowledge that yes you are your thought process is really good and you are a a uh, really worthy candidate to hire, right? The next question is what are the types of data structures? So data structures are basically two types, primitive data structure and non-primitive data types. Among them, again, the parts are bifurcated, right? The linear data structure, non-linear data structure, etc. I have clearly explained each and everything. Then the third question is areas of application of data structure. So nowadays data structure is uh, useful in every area, like kind of database management system, how? Like B trees and hash tables are used for efficient data storage, retrieval, and indexing. I'm not reading all the stuff because the PDF is uh, kind of 37 pages, right? I'm just giving you the overview. Then in operating system, how we can use so structures like queues, trees, and linked list help manage processes, memory, and file system, etc., etc. You can have a look. Now the next question is data structure used for recursion. For recursion, we use stack data structure. Now 
they can ask you what is a stack or what is recursion so why do you use a stack data structure and how they work etc what is the example of it then the next question is what is an array all these are the basic questions but i have collected all the questions that i got from the students that ma'am in dsa they, they asked this question or basically what happens is many of the students share the interview experience with me so i found out uh, so i find out all the questions from the dsa from dbms from oops etc etc so i'm just bunching up all the questions together and i am finding out the answer collecting the answer in the pdf and just giving to you right so these are the actual answer questions in your interviews because in mncs the interview level is not so tough but the thing is how you are going to answer what is the way of your uh, answer how you are relating the things that really matters a lot right the next question is what is an array so first of all you have to define the types of arrays etc etc and what is vector in c++ you can tell what is this what is the use case of it the next question is what is linked list then type of linked list right then um, everything i have uh, mentioned that what are the operations performed on linked list etc you can have a look clearly here right and if you prepare from this uh like 99.99 percent .99 i can say that uh, no any question will be out from this cheat sheet from dsa because this cheat sheet is specific especially for dsa right so no any question will out from this cheat sheet if you have the knowledge okay so what is this thing so you can tell definition what are the key features i have included code examples as well right sometimes they ask you to write simple codes right so you have to be prepared with them also i'm making a cheat sheet for top 30 coding questions that were asked in interviews right at the time of interview they can ask you to write some code so what are the questions they can ask you i'm preparing that cheat sheet i will be giving you very soon right now if we see what is the stack etc i have listed all the things what is q Cetera, right so if you are preparing for your interviews this cheat sheet is going to be really valuable for you if you are from technical or even non-technical background because sometimes i get the doubt from electronics or mechanical engineering students that ma'am whether they will ask uh, technical questions or not so what happens sometimes is they can ask you the questions from dbms because it is very important and from dsa basic dsa right so if you will prepare from this cheat sheet it will be very helpful for you this graph etc i have listed all the things now also guys if you are preparing for interview and if you're looking for mock interviews so i do conduct mock interviews but it is paid but affordable 90 rupees 30 minutes and i will be taking your resume right i will be reviewing your resume and i will be taking your mock interview i will tell you what are your mistakes where you can improve and where you should improve and if any personalized doubt you have you can ask me in those 30 minutes so we will be having this discussion and this is a time talk and time taking process so that's why it is uh, paid but again affordable on other channels you will be finding that they are uh, charging you 250 to uh, or three uh, 300 like that but on my channel all the things are very affordable if i'm taking you money so these are affordable uh just because of my efforts because it takes so much of time to provide you this valuable content for free as well right so if you want to book your mock interview you can ping me on instagram or even telegram right so i will uh, decide or uh, we will fix your slot and then we can do right okay so now if we see that this is a complete pdf i am showing you here has tables etc i have a bunch of all the things together now the next pdf is related to data structure and algorithm revision guide so there are 124 pages now you can have a i have an idea that uh, how much efforts i put in it all the things related to data structures and algorithm i have bunched up here and along with the code examples what is data structure type of data structure what are the linear data structure what are the non-linear data structures along with their example along with their real world use cases all the things i have mentioned here you can have a look all these things right if we scroll down then major operations performed on different data structures so first of all insertion how and insertion on what data structure arrays link list stacks queues trees graphs etc and in what way i have provided you the code examples as well deletion how and in what way 
right so you can have a look all the things are listed here merging shorting etc we have listed all the things now advantages of using data structure so first of all array what are the advantages and what is the use case then link list what are the advantages and what is the use case then stack what are the advantages and what is the real use case q again for every data structure i have listed advantages and what is the use case of that right now if we scroll down so we will be seeing the summary table as well right so that you can have a quick revision so this is the summary table first of all data structure what is the advantage what is the use case so for array advantages random access cache friendly memory efficient now what is the use case fixed size data structures uh, data sets like temperature readings calendar etc for language etc you can have a look on this summary table right then what is algorithm first of all we have uh, defined it then what are the characteristics of a good algorithm input output what is the examples of these like all the things i have listed here now what is and what is the data flow of an algorithm first of all we need to take input then we need to um, take the instructions of processing right all the things then intermediate data then output all the things why do we need algorithms so basically for efficiency for automation for problem solving all the things that's the reason for using the algorithms all the things are listed here very well right if we see the real world examples of an algorithm so these are the real world examples of an algorithm here is the conclusion now what are the different approaches of using a algorithm this question basically asked what are the different approaches of uh, algorithm so basically what people do is they say uh, like mass short quick short no no these are the types of sorting algorithm the thing is they are asking for approaches of algorithm so first and uh, first approach is brute force approach or we can say the basic approach the first idea that hit in our mind that okay this can be the solution of our particular question so this approach of algorithm is called as brute force approach what is the description of it what are the advantages of it then what are the disadvantages of it i have listed all the things now i have provided you code examples as well right then the next approach is divide and conquer so what is the description uh, that means why we are using it or what it does right then advantages then disadvantages and what is the example so i have provided you the code examples as well right then the third is dynamic programming so advantages disadvantages examples so i have provided you the example then greedy algorithm etc so you can have a look clearly here right then if we see that uh, the seventh is randomized algorithm etc now types of algorithm so in types of algorithm some are sorting algorithm some are searching algorithm and some are graph algorithms and under that there are different types of algorithms like uh, disastrous algorithm dfs algorithm bfs algorithm etc etc so we have defined each and everything and this is a revision type so all the things are not in so depth but again this will be helpful for you to have a quick idea in your head at the time of interview or even at the time of uh, like we can say for reading exam as well if you just read it so you can have uh, the idea okay what types of things are there and it is going to be helpful for retaining the dsa concept right then the next is if we see greedy algorithms etc so we have listed completely then algorithm complexity so time complexity space complexity we have listed completely here right so if we see that common types of complexity so constant time logarithmic time linear time then uh quadratic time exponential time etc so we have defined clearly here and if we see that what are the notations etc so all the things are listed very well right so you can have a look here now let's uh, deep dive in data structure so each data structure now here we are going to deep dive for each data structure arrays then types of arrays in detail right so all the things are listed very well with the help of example with the help of use case etc now people if you uh, if you are in need of all these technical interview questions so uh yesterday only i have launched my top mate account right if we see here this is my top mate account just let me raise it for this okay so this is my top mate account so here uh, the things are mock interviews you can uh, book from here or even you can message me on instagram or from there you can book itself right and here i have launched technical interviewer tracker in that what you will get you will 
you will get all the technical interview questions related to all the MNCs like TCS, Capgemini, and Cognizant, Bipro, Deloitte, LKM Entry, Accenture, etc. All the things are covered here, right? And these are the uh, roles: SASA, PEDA, AAC, EAC in Accenture, Ninja Digital Prime in TCS, SD for any company, Analyst, Analyst Star, Senior Analyst for Capgemini, all the others, right? So what it includes is 40 plus HR and MR interview questions and answer, right? Along with the answers then 30 plus interview experiences of different different mncs then top 30 plus coding interview questions top 30 plus dbms interview questions and answer sql handwritten notes top oops interview question and answer c plus plus interview question and answer java interview question and answer python interview questions and answers computer networks operating system software engineering questions and answer all the things are just for 70 rupees so if you want just you have to click on this get this button you have to make the payment and you can upload this material and if you are specifically specifically focusing on exchanger so i have learned the exchanger interview cracker as well and these are the material of this right and the price of this is 45 so uh, super affordable price right and if you just want the mock interview you can message me on instagram there we can uh, book a slot or even you can book from here itself right Okay, so just wanted to show that these, uh, this is the DSA cheat sheet and this is the DSA revision guide. And if you want to book your mock interview, you can message me on Instagram or Telegram or from the top mate itself, you can book. Like, it's up to you. So, yeah, let's meet in the next video. Till then, bye bye and take care. And yeah, uh, from where you can get this cheat sheet, once this video will hit 700 views and 200 likes, I will pinned the comment of this uh, of this drive link i will upload these pdfs in a drive link and i will pin the comment after 700 views and 200 likes on this video so make sure to share to grab this material as soon as possible all right so we will meet in the next video till then bye bye and take care